Welcome to Red Dead 2 and thank you for joining us. Today we are going to learn how to get a perfect squirrel carcass. So stick around. To start off, what you're looking for is a squirrel with three stars. You can't get a perfect pelt if it only has two stars to begin with. And to search for that, what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the L2 button right there. Now, because this little critter is small, it can hide different places. You may want to have to track it. And to track it, what you're going to do is push in both the L3 and R3 buttons at the same time. You push those in and it'll go to slow motion. You'll get to see all the uh, tracks and stuff of different animals. You're looking specifically for that uh, squirrel. So what you're going to want to do is maybe hit uh, the R1 button uh, to specifically uh, track the squirrel. Now the squirrel is small game. What that means is we're going to have to hunt with a small game arrow in order to have a shot at getting the perfect uh, squirrel carcass. Now small game arrows cannot be purchased at stores. They have to be handcrafted and you're going to need a flight feather to do that. So you cannot purchase a small game arrow at a store. You got to handcraft it. Uh, basically you shoot a flying uh, bird, get a flight feather and then you craft it that way. How do you equip the small game arrow? Well, you're, what you're going to do is hold down L1 to uh, call up your weapons wheel. And then once you have that up, what you're looking for is uh, the bow. Uh, you can go to either one of these slots for the bow. If the, if the bow is not in either one of these slots, it should be uh, in one of these. And you hit R2 to get there. And then once you have that bow selected, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change it to where it says small game. The default for the bow is right here. We need to make sure that it's small game. So we need to go to right uh, over there where the small game arrow is. Okay, so you'd like to activate Deadeye. What you're going to do is push in the R3 button right there. The next thing you want to do is uh, tag uh, as many shots as you can. If you only got one shot, you can only uh, take one shot. But you tag with the R1 button right there. And then, of course, to shoot, uh, all you're going to do is push R2. And then, of course, we'll keep our fingers crossed that we did not ruin the carcass by running it over. Let's go take a look and see if we've got three stars. And, uh, yes, it is three stars. That is very good. So that's one example right there. All right, let's take a look at another example. Here we're walking, and we happen to see something. All right, uh... Let's get that uh, small game arrow set up here. And uh, there it is. A uh, gray squirrel. It's got three stars. We're going to try to get that perfect uh, shot off there. And uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed that it actually was a perfect shot. Let's walk up to it. And uh, the good news is it still has three stars. So that's good there. And our third and final example... We are heading up north on a horse up a hill when this uh, squirrel happens to catch our eye. And, of course, he's got three stars. And uh, so we decide to switch to the small game arrow and uh, lock on to hunt it. Now it's a matter of uh, being patient and chasing it down. And if we have to, we'll track later. All right, here we're going to use the uh, dead eye feature. And then, of course, we're going to tag it with R1. Got the high shot up there. And keep our fingers crossed that it's still uh, three stars. Let's walk up to it. And uh, good news, it's still three stars. So that in, that in a nutshell wraps up how you uh, hunt a small game squirrel. And of course that is going to wrap this video up. Uh, I'm signing out. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck. 